y'all welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a fall lippies video our favorite fall lippies video i have four colors that i just want to talk to y'all about that um i'm absolutely loving this fall so if you're interested in seeing all of these beautiful colors and what i'm going to be rocking this fall season keep watching uh, just in case you miss um the name of the color when i am talking about it just make sure you check the description box all the colors prices and where I purchase it from will be listed in the description box. So the first color that I'm going to be talking to y'all about today, I really don't feel like the color, the camera is giving it that much justice. This is the color Ferguson Crest Cabernet and this is part of the Wet and Wild. I believe this is Wet and Wild. Yes, the Wet and Wild line. Um, I am absolutely in love with this lipstick. Um, I've had it for about a year. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was in my previous Fall Lippies um, collection. So if you haven't seen that video, I am going to link it down below. But this is like the perfect... Um, plum purple i am obsessed with purples i believe purple is my favorite lipstick color and the good thing about purple is there's so many different shades that cannot that can work throughout all the seasons of the year so this is i believe is the perfect um color for the fall it's that nice deep purple that isn't too dark but also just gives your face a gradient look i don't know if that made any sense but yeah so i am in love with this color so the next color I have here is, um, oh my gosh, is the color Nude. And this is part of the Maybelline Elixir line. I prefer this lipstick. I like lipstick with moisture in it. There's been plenty of lipsticks that I've come across that aren't matte lipsticks that just look horrible on any anybody's lips. So this, because of this line, you know, it still gives you that... Um, lip gloss feel but it's definitely lipstick i love the color elixir line from maybelline i have quite a few lipsticks from them and this color nude is perfect you know i just want to say black girls can wear nude too i know some some people do not feel comfortable wearing colors and nudes because they feel like they may be too dark for it and nude might be a little bit too much of their not their thing i just want to let y'all know black girls can wear nude too so yeah so obviously this next color is the color black and i know some people are like take that off and it's not really a thing the reason why i picked this is not only do i like wearing black lipstick i don't wear it that often I, there are some days that i wear it but i feel like this is a perfect halloween costume color so if you're wearing a halloween costume that's not so like you know joy for anything you want to play a dead person or something along those lines this black lipstick is perfect so i got this lipstick from the hair store actually and it was about a dollar and i like i said i don't wear it like that but i do prefer to wear it if i am going to wear it in the fall time no other season but the fall time so yeah this is just a um friendly funny alternative look i do not go to like interviews or anything in this color but yeah so this is the color Shameless. I believe this purple is probably the first purple lipstick, <clears throat> one of the first purple lipsticks that I've ever bought. And this is some of the reason why I love the color purple on my lips. So this is part of the, uh, sorry, this is part of the Maybelline Color Burst line. And this is the matte bomb. So it looks like this, a big old crayon. And I absolutely love the color Shameless. I believe it looks great on any skin color. This is the second new color that I have in my um, favorites collection. This is part of the Maybelline Color Sensations line, and this is the color Touchable Taupe. Um, this is one of the first new colors that I've ever um, owned, probably even before I got the color elixir, and I didn't think I could wear nude on my lips, so I definitely went and got this color, and I like it. Um, you can barely also tell that I have anything on my lips, so most of the time when I do wear this, I also do pair it with the color elixir, and it gives off a great matte but glossy look i know that didn't make any sense but go out and try and i promise you will love it so this next color is i'm gonna call it my stubby's favorite colors because i've worn plenty of lipstick before but everybody wants to know about this color i wore this in my hair review video as well as my one of my story time videos and everybody's just like what is that on your lips so this is the color taboo by iman Iman's lipstick so I got this from Walgreens and the story behind this is this 
lipstick is fairly expensive i think almost 12 dollars. i almost didn't purchase it but i looked at the color and i'm like mm, this is a little bit different than anything i have and i have not regret buying this this lipstick is so 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 smooth it almost feels like you're putting um chapstick on your lips or vaseline that's how soft that it is it glides on perfectly and this color stays on all throughout the day so um I don't really have to go and re keep reapplying it. So it's definitely the perfect fall lipstick. And if you don't have it, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go out and get it. And everybody will be complimenting you. This color is the color Caviar. And this is part of the Maybelline Elixir line as well. So you know this is probably one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, This color I would describe as a berry color so it's on the borderline of a red but not necessarily there i believe this is the perfect color for the fall it's such a subtle lipstick color that you can wear just about with anything and it looks great um i love it this is probably this and this are my probably two go-to lipsticks that i'm always wearing this fall so yeah the end of my favorite fall lipstick collections um i know i had a whole different types of ranges of lipsticks so hopefully you found something among the seven lipsticks that you can go out and purchase um they're not all that expensive the only one that's overly expensive is the taboo lipstick i still can't believe i purchased that but i do appreciate you watching this video if you have any questions whatsoever leave a comment down below do not forget to read the description box and y'all have a blessed day